Where have you gone, Daffy? Oh, I know. I know. There are pretty nearly as many people in the world who know as much as you do. Understand? I never heard such a thing in all my life. It's a complete muddle. I can't for the life of me think how you got this idea into your head. And did you really think they were going to kill you? Yes, they did. <laughs> Why, man, we're going to have a line of electric street cars in this town next spring. Electric street cars? There's a new railroad going to be built down from Broken Arm to here. Not to mention four churches, a smashing big brick schoolhouse, and a factory, too. Boy, in two years, Romper will be a metropolis. Mr. Skelly, how much do I owe you? You don't owe me anything. <laughs> yes, I do! Well, I'll not take your money. Not after what's been going on here. Here. Come with me a minute. No. Ah, come on. I want you to come and see a picture across the hall in my room. Come on. This here is my room. Now here. Here's a picture of my little daughter, Carrie, who died before she was eight years old. She's the prettiest hair you ever saw. Golden-like. Now here. Here, look. Look. This is my boy, Michael, who's a, who's a lawyer over in Lincoln. And he bowlers blazes. I gave him a grand education, and I'm, I'm glad of it now. A gentleman he is. I know what it is you want. No. No, no, I, I keep this under the pillow. Or in my bureau, if it wasn't for that Johnny. Here. Oh, come on. Come on, drink. It's good. <laughs> what is it do you think it is that makes that Swede so peculiar? He's afraid. Afraid? What of? I don't know. Maybe he's read too many dime novels about the West. You know, the Wild West. He thinks he's out in the middle of it. The shooting and stabbing and all. Well, this ain't Wyoming and none of them places. This is Nebraska. Uh, it sure is a funny game he plays. You know, I'm going to tell my pa to just kick him right out of here. Well, he can't do that. He's he done nothing exactly. Well, I don't care. I still don't like him. Well, you need. <laughs> well, well, well. So that's the way it was, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. 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 Well, Besides, I don't know that I want to sit with them. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll play some cards. You think it's funny to have Taylor from New York tell you to play cards? It is not funny. I am not Taylor. I am world traveler. I come from Sweden, 7,000. Two miles away, I, I bring the blizzard, and I make the train stop, and, and I deal the cards. I think I get a glass of water. I get you some water. No, I get it myself. Upstairs just now, he thought I was trying to poison him. Can you imagine? Oh, this makes me sick. Now, why don't you just kick him right out in the snow? Oh, he's all right now. He's all right. 
It's just that he comes from the east, and he thought this was a tough place. <laughs> you were right about that, Dutchman. <laughs> well, I, I still don't like him. Boy, he's too fresh, and now he's too scared. Well, it looks like to me he's bound to fall off one side of the horse or the other. Why oh, won't you just kick him out? Well, now, what do I keep? What do I keep? A hotel, that's what, and a good one. There's no place in this town where they can say they ever had to take in a guest of mine because he was afraid to stay here. Well, I still wish you'd kick him out. <laughs> Do you have cards, dealt cowboy? Sure, you have. <laughs> hey, a bit six. Seven. Four. This tops off good meal, all Irish, uh. I was working on the railroad. I, I was working on the railroad. Working, working all day on the rail. You gentlemen don't enjoy a little dinner music? Well, it's... It's just, you know, we Ain't sort of it a don't custom do it. in your country, Mr. Scully? On the other side, in Sweden, when you go to a restaurant or hotel, they always have a little music. A fiddler playing the fiddle and the piano and the palm trees and the platform. They play sweet music for you while you eat. But you gentlemen don't enjoy anything. Uh, no music. Mister, I'm ready to play cards. Well, play. It's. It's your turn. Oh. Look who's here again, the flicker. <laughs> I tell you, Mr. Skelly, you are a mighty lucky man. Mighty lucky to have fine daughter like that work for you. Plenty girls would marry and clear out of town. But she stays, it cuts down on the overhead. You do not have to hire any help. Maybe she gives you the tips, too. <laughs> Besides, you run a hotel that is not so much for class. It makes up for a lot when you see a pretty girl. I tell you, Mr. Scully, you are mighty lucky, man. Mighty lucky. You are almost lucky as me. In New York, I live in a hotel that's all marble in my house. It's all red carpet on the floor. Railroad builders come to see me for the suits. Mr. Brady, Mr. Morgan, they ask me all about the suits. They know I know, cause I am good tailor. I make the best cuffs, I make the best vests, I make the best seams, I make the best vests. <laughs> Why don't you just shut up and play cards? It would, but it, it's not my turn. It's your turn again, Yanni. I play a trick. It's my trick. So it is. Hey, play an ace. There's one thing in the world with all the card players, no matter where you go, no matter what cups you play with, there's always one person who holds up the game. Johnny, it is your turn again. Play, play.